Look, Khan's waking up. Okay, drop him. All right. The production of this tape was done by Jaden Kamstra. This tape is a compilation of tracks he has right. made over the last six months. Listen closely and enjoy. Yo. All right, we have the decisive game. If Spain wins, they win World Cup. If McMegan wins, they go to a tiebreaker. And with all of that on the line, <laughs> with all of that fucking on the line, McMegan said, you know what? I got to bring the Grafii. <laughs> Blunder says he wants to be bed gay so bad. <laughs> well, why, 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 why would you? <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Kith has pretty standard balance. Um, we have seen that six at quadrillion times at this point. Uh, it's a good team. Uh, I mean, it's it's just good. Um, McMegan has, honestly, this team is pretty cool too. Let me pull that down just a little bit more. McMegan's team, barring the Grafai eye, is pretty reasonable. Um, let's see. So, lead-wise here, Kith probably... He's going to want to uh, anti-lead the Dragapult to some extent, right? Because you don't want to take a Spec Shadow Ball or something early on. Um... Oh, he starts with the Garg versus the Zapdos. So McMegan gets turn one right. Um, we'll probably see if he has it, he'll Volt um, or U-turn one or the other. Uh, the turn one Electric Terra. I I don't fucking know what the idea is on this game. <laughs> um... McMegan should be well aware that Garg uh, can't get parried unless he's running like a wacko uh, different uh, uh, ability. Um, yeah, I don't get that. So he salt cares on the Great Tusk. Great Tusk can threaten an EQ. Truthfully, you don't need the switch on the Tusk CQ. Because he's never going to click it here. He's not going to click that on the Moltres. Um, of course, he just rocks up. A little bit more Salt Cure damage as the Slow King comes in. Uh, Surf is actually... No, it's not awkward. Because he can just go to his... Malekith can just go to his Slow King. But he goes to the Zapdos instead. Future Sight comes out... Um, I imagine we'll see a switch into the, yeah, a, a chili into maybe the Garg again. McMegan does not deal with Zapdos that easily, especially because it is Discharge too, so it's like a pain in the ass. All right, so he's just going to throw off another Salt Cure here. Um, I don't think there's another reasonable play. As Malekith U-turns, he'll probably U-turn into the Tusk again, because why not? Oh no, he goes into the Slow... Yeah, Slow King's reasonable. Okay, he, he so he curses up already. Oh right, I, I'm sorry, I forgot that the Future Sight was in the air. Obviously he's not going to go Tusk on that. Um... This is awkward. This is actually pretty awkward. Because he could just... Like, if he curses again, what forces this out, even? Nothing. Literally nothing forces this out. Because the Tusk is going to be doing, like, 30. Thank you. 
I don't know if that's a joke or if there is a new electric sucker punch. I don't think there is. Rest up, refresh. And for fast refreshment, there's just nothing like a frosty bottle of Coca-Cola. Um Timing wise, I actually kind of I think McMegan has a had a good idea here. He doesn't need to worry about this. He can just curse to his heart's content. Huh, fascinating. So we see a chili. What is he gonna even go into though? I, I don't see how Malekith gets out of this. You go Tusk and you hope to crit any Q. I don't even know what he's thinking about. Because look, process of elimination. You switched out with this. Uh, Zapdos cannot touch this remotely. Um, Cinderace is gonna do 24 before leftovers and die. Um, Gambit, if it takes the, um, yeah, salt cure, it dies way too quickly. He's gotta hope for a crit. Even if this is bulk up, the salt cure is way too big of a pain in the ass for it. Because you salt cure once, you can do whatever. Oh, if he had EQ'd there. If he had EQ'd there, it might have been over. It would have been over. Wow. Because I don't, this doesn't work. Like, the knock is a pain, admittedly, but he's got a crit here. If he gets his recover off, it's, it's... I mean, it's surely EQ, right? So it's not like this sits on it or anything. Let's see. Kith's probably kicking himself right now. Because he re like, if he had gotten that crit with the EQ instead would have been a whole different would have had world cup in his hands because the fucking grafii team is probably not gonna win okay i mean it is mcmegan so it could win but I woke up the next day and thought, it's funny that <sighs> sorry i got you on um yeah wow he needed to get that that headlong He's got, what, two more tries? Three? Game. Good game. Ha! I guess you go um, Gambit and you hope to crit the Kowtow. Thank you for watching. And good this was a remarkable... Remarkable end. Turning electric did nothing. <laughs> but I guess it, it worked, so whatever.
Kith is flailing. I feel bad for the guy right now. All right. It literally is the game here. If he crits the Kowtow, I guess he could also crit EQ with, um... Excuse me? I want to thank you for helping my turtle. It was our pleasure, mister. He's just gonna spam recover here? Can he... He's got a crit. I don't know what there's anyone thinking about. Both plays are very obvious here. Do you just kill it here? Yeah. Alright. One last try. One last try. No dice. I, I, does a crit even kill? Yeah, it does, obviously, but... Good game. Oh, that's... It's a desperate look. It's a desperate look. They hit the good games. And that is that. McMegan brings it to a tiebreaker. Wow. Incredible. Incredible stuff. I, I That's funny as hell. Um, Kith should have just headlonged initially. I mean, I get what he was thinking to some extent, but he needed as many crit chances as he could get. Wow. Good game, McMegan. Uh, that's why you're one of the best ever. Good job here. Let's, uh, yeah, let's see where this goes. Tiebreaker coming up. <laughs>